Hey guys, this is Gene Jensen, and I want to do a real quick video on um, a basic rod lineup. What I did is I went through my rods, I pulled out a half a dozen rods that if this was all you could have, all you could afford, these are the six rods you need to have to be able to cover most of bass fishing. So that was my goal. Uh, and, uh, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to talk about the, the lengths, uh, the, the power, the action, and, uh, and you know, the reels I have on it line and, and kind of go through the, the lures that can be fished with each of these actions and powers and, uh, and try to dig into that. So I don't know how long this, this video is going to be, but let's, let's have fun talking about it. The first rod is going to be my, my beef stick, my broom handle, whatever you want to call it. This is a heavy action seven foot six uh, or heavy power seven foot six fast action rod you'll find in the fishing industry or at least i do it a lot and i know a lot of other people do it a lot is we we mix up the phrase action and power we'll call it a a fast action rod when really or a, a medium action rod when really it's a medium power rod but uh anyway just so you know that sometimes people are are talking about one thing when they say another but um so a heavy power fast action rod it is uh it's my heavy cover rod i have it on a high speed reel this is a seven three to one uh okuma helios reel it is i've got 65 pound braid on here and yes i know i'm going to get the comment or somebody's going to think well isn't 65 pound braid overkill you're only catching these little bass has nothing to do with the size fish that i'm catching it has everything to do with what i am throwing this bait into or what the, I'm using this rod to throw a bait into and whether I can get a big fish out of that spot. So I'm fishing thick grass, thick cover, I'm flipping into bushes, I'm fl flipping into trees. Am I going to be able to get an eight pounder out of there with a with 20 pound test? Maybe. I know I can get one out with, out with 65 pounds. So I'm going to use 65 pound braid. And a lot of times, especially when you're fishing hydrilla and other, other types of grass, you bring 30 or 40 pounds of grass in with a two pound fish. So you just got to have thick, thick line. This rod is good for um, flipping and pitching. I have a little flipping bait on or a little pitching bait on here. I've got a 3 8 ounce tungsten weight, uh, a, a grip pin hook pegged. Uh, with a, um, a biospawn uh, exo stick on there. And that's what I use when I'm just covering the bank that has a lot of lay downs, a lot of grass, things like that, so I can pitch it in. And if the grass is too thick, I go up in the size of the weight. Um, other things you throw on it, hollow body frogs. Once again, you're fishing heavy cover. Um, swim baits, but I would change the line to 20 pound test fluorocarbon because when you're throwing these heavy swim baits like the, the uh, bull shad, the, the Mike Buca bull shad, uh, the, the swim baits will, you know, if you get a backlash in your line, that sudden stop on that 65 pound braid will break that, will break that swim bait off. Uh, believe me, I've got a $125 swim bait in the bottom of Gunnersville right now because of that. Uh, so I go to something that has a little bit of stretch like fluorocarbon that's a little bit more forgiving when you get that backlash. All right, that's my heavy action rod. The next one is my medium heavy fast action rod. This is a seven foot three. That is my ideal length for a jig rod. Um, and uh, this is the, the new blackout by uh, number eight tackle company. This is, it's not a rod review. I'm sorry guys, but this is a 60 or $70 rod. This is not an expensive rod and I've been absolutely impressed with it since they sent it to me. But I've got a, uh, a little swinging football head jig with a Valcar on here right now. I throw Carolina rigs on this. Uh, like I said, jigs, football heads, um, uh, Texas rigs, heavier Texas rigs, three eighths and up, uh, or quarter ounce and up. I'll throw a Texas rig on here. It's basically my dragon bait. It's what I am uh, bouncing the bottom with with lures and things like that. It's on it. I've got it on a eight one to one gear ratio, uh, thirteen fishing concept C reel, fifteen pound uh, um, Iser line copolymer. This is what I uh, this is what I use when I'm when I'm working the bottom. Um, great, great rod. The reason I use a high speed reel is because I want to be able to get that line back to me real quick and make another cast. Uh, the more cast you make, the more fish you catch. So um, it's all a, it's a numbers game when you're using high speed reels. And I've switched to mostly high speed reels except for my uh, a couple of the you know my cranking rods and stuff like that. So 
the next one. This is my favorite rod, uh, action and power. This is a medium power, fast action rod, uh, seven foot long, seven feet long. It's another blackout from uh, the number eight tackle company. I've got a, uh, a uh, Abu Garcia uh, Revo SC on here. Uh, good luck finding them. They made them years ago for Cabela's. So got a whopper plopper on here right now because I've never fished one. I wanted to try it out today. But this is my topwater uh, rod, and the reason I say I use this so much is because this is this lake that I'm on, Clark's Hill, is a topwater lake. We use a lot of spooks, uh, a lot of walking baits um, in open water to catch fish, and it is ideal for that. I use it for spinner baits. I use it for some buzz baits, heavier buzz baits. Uh, let me look at my list so, so I don't forget anything. Um, when I'm being aggressive with things like uh, lipless crankbaits, if I'm aggressively fishing lipless crankbaits in the grass and stuff like that, I'm using this because I got the backbone to be able to rip it out of the grass. Uh, rip baits or jerk baits that are being you know used really aggressive through through cover, and uh, light Texas rigs and jigs. You know those light quarter ounce Texas rigs or jigs and Texas rigs that you throw. Good rod, seven foot long. I think I already said that. All right, let's go to my moderate action, or my moderate power rods. Moderate action pot rods, see what I'm saying? We do it all the time. This is a seven foot medium moderate action rod. It is for my light crankbaits, my smaller crankbaits, uh, square bills, jerk baits, um, baits of dive, you know, down to about eight feet deep. That's what I'll throw, I'll throw this on. This is a or little bitty crankbaits like this one right here. Reason is it's got a lot of flex in that rod and it loads up real good behind you on that cast and you can cast these light baits really good. Um, just a good rod. This is a Fenwick Atos. I've got it um, on a, uh, a Fluger Supreme 5, 3 to 1 gear ratio. You don't need a fast retrieve rod for these things. A lot of times the slower the better. So I like to use a 5, 3 to 1 gear ratio uh, reel. Just a good Good all-around rod. That's my first cranking rod. <coughs> Excuse me. My second cranking rod is my deep diving crankbait rod, and I use it for a lot of other things. We'll explain that in a second. But this is a medium heavy moderate rod, moderately fast action rod. Seven feet long. Um, I like, for a deep diver, I would like it to be seven foot six, but I like seven feet will work just fine. Seven feet is good for a lot of the other things I throw on it more than I do deep divers. Uh, five three to one gear ratio reel. Uh, same with the um, with the mo the medium moderate. I have a twelve pound test uh, copoly on here. And the things I throw on this ba this rod because it's a medium heavy is um, I do a lot of the spinner baits. Let me break some of the, anything that has these heavier um, open hooks like this spinner bait, chatter bait, buzz bait, stuff like that. Um, I like to use a medium heavy moderate rod. You have the, the flex or the, the bend in that rod to be able to make a good cast and be able to get a, a good quality hook set on that fish because the fish will grab it and a lot of times with a stiffer rod you pull it out of their mouth before they get their mouth closed or before they get are able to turn on it. And so you've got enough give in that rod for that but enough backbone because it's a medium heavy to be able to set the hook on those rods. So that's my spinner bait, chatter bait, buzz bait. Um, rod, my deep diving crankbait rod, anything with a um, uh, with a big bill I'm going to throw. If I'm going to throw a chatterbait or something else on there, I might switch the line or switch the reel to a heavy or a faster action reel. That's the only difference in, in that rod. So, okay, next one, seven foot medium action spinning rod. Okay, this is a good rod for your poppers, your lightweight stuff that you that are hard to throw, your floating worms, your flukes, your your sinkos, um, drop shot, shaky heads. I mean, all kinds of stuff that is is really light. I've got a shaky head all right on there right now with a with a um, with a plasma tail, and uh, you know it's just it's what I use for all of my finesse stuff. Fifteen pound or fourteen pound. Uh, braid with an eight foot leader, uh, fluorocarbon leader for, for finesse stuff and, and uh, clear and you know clear water. But that's a great, great lineup. Those six rods will cover you forever. Um, if you don't want to buy anything more than six, that's the six that I would get. So, and I hope you learned something from it. But uh, 
take somebody out fishing, be sure to, uh, to introduce them to fishing and then, and then show them my videos. Let me help you teach them how to fish. More importantly, get out on the water, go out and catch some fish and have some fun. Be sure to subscribe to my videos. Uh, hit the like button if you like this video um, and, uh, and share it across, across Instagram, Facebook. Let people know that I know what I'm doing so I can help as many people as I can uh, learn how to fish. So take care. Have a great day. Hey guys, be sure to check out my uh, my major sponsor, Biospawn. Uh, I use their baits all the time now. It's They're a new company, and I wouldn't talk about them if they didn't have good quality baits. I caught my personal best this spring on them. I catch fish on them all the time. Great quality baits, great company. Uh, uh, be sure to check them out. I'm going to put the link down in the description. I'm also going to put the link of all the other sponsors or all my other sponsors in the description. Go check them out. Support them. Uh, they support me and help me to continue to teach the world of fish. Take care.